Hey guys, welcome to the World Cup edition with Babwe Banta, uh, with myself, Robbie Durant, Mary, my boy, and JJ, the two fundies of rugby right over here. Uh, we're bringing you all the updates of the games that are happening and obviously the build-up, the quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals are going to be happening in France. Uh, Maddie, it has been epic. It has been very epic. So good. It's nice to have you back, Rob. I'm back. You are back. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I am back. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've missed you. Yeah. yeah. JJ? Um, let's talk quickly. Italy, Uruguay, France, Namibia, Argentina, Samoa, and obviously Georgia, Portugal. Italy, Uruguay, 38-17. So, I, JJ we... didn't watch that game. Oh, didn't he? No. no. <laughs> so, he didn't watch it, he watched it. Um, uh, Italy, uh, Uruguay, Uruguay were up 17-7 at halftime. Jeez. They had a smashing first half. Um, and then, yeah, I think the it Italians decided to pull it a little bit closer, use their big guns, mm. and the Fords really took it to them, and I think it was just a war of attrition in the end. Yeah. But Uruguay really showed that they've got it, and yeah. the South, South American rugby is really coming up, and uh, well done to them. They've really played too. I mean, against France, it yeah. was like 17.35, and now uh, against Italy, same sort of thing. So I think they really are stepping up. Uh, well done to their rugby. Well, then one of our African teams, Namibia, um, across the borders, Got absolutely lambasted by France, 96 0. Uh, that but was a bit of icing on the cake. Or I don't you know? know, Rob. You know, the first 15 minutes showed what Namibia can do. Yeah. Um, their back line was very fast. Their forward scrum was absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. They scrummed very well until they got a yellow card. Yes. And then it just went to pot. Um, look, you've got to know France is so fast. When they start cutting yeah, you open so like that, there's yeah. no plan. Um, but I really thought for that first 15 to 20 minutes, they showed what they can do. So well done to them for at least fronting up. I think. The score really doesn't show what they really, I mean, like I said, a couple of red cards and uh, yellow cards and a few missed people. And yeah. then that was the end of that. They'll cut you open. Yeah, well, it's not easy when you semi-professional playing against a professional team. It's just, uh, it's mm. kind of... Uh, uh, Argentina yeah. versus Samoa. Yeah. 1910. Uh, yeah, it was a cracker. Not bad. Yeah. Do you watch JJ? A little bit of it. Yeah. He hasn't been watching. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of it. Yeah. So... Um, Samoa, first half, absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, really showed what they can do. Speed, aggression, power, size. I mean, they have got it. Just that second half, Argentina really pulled it together. <laughs> it was really close until the end. I mean, Argentina only scored that last try sort of at the end of the game. Um, it was a lot closer than 1910 shows, and it really shows that Samoa have got what it takes. They have some big boys. A lot better performance than yeah. they did against their, their first game. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, well done to them. They're showing what they can do, and they've got some monsters there. That wing of theirs, my yeah. gosh. The, <laughs> the, solid. the Polynesians are stepping up, let yeah, me tell yeah, you. The, yeah. the boys are on another level. Yeah. Um, guys, probably one of the games of uh, the Rugby World Cup so far, Georgia and Portugal, 18-0. Yeah, Georgia bringing it in the beginning. Absolutely great. Fair contest, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and then all of a sudden, Portugal started mm. bringing it. What really confused me was the colors, because Georgia normally play in white, and, and they were in they, red. And they were in red. And Spain normally, uh, yeah. well, what's that? Why? Like, yeah. <laughs> what's going on with the color schemes at this World Cup? It's, it's going to do the blind, the blind story. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really weird what uh, the World, World Rugby has gotten the teams to do in terms of their kit. Yeah. yeah, I was a bit confused because you know you walk away for a few minutes, you come back, and you got to rethink about who yeah, you're watching yeah. there. Well, you, I was you, like, you know, huh? at one stage, I thought Portugal was winning. Yes, <laughs> so was I. Yeah. This is uh, yeah. uh, uh, the thing now. You you've waited to wear that jersey, whether it be the England white or the Springbok green uh, or the Island green, and then uh, you get to the Rugby World Cup and you got to wear a, a mouth-watering different uh, type of jersey. That makes no sense. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Do you, I wonder who organised? It must be French. I mean, <laughs> what be? the hell? No, they can't even speak English. What do they know? Yeah, <laughs> they have to open the eyes. <laughs> Guys, England versus Chile. England, let me tell you, England is, I think, the dark horse of this World Cup. Yeah, yeah. Um, they really are stepping up. A lot of the old names from the last World Cup that are really starting mm -hmm. to shine. Um, they rested a lot of their big boys. Uh, Farrell coming back and kicked yeah. like an absolute... Yeah. Machine, he didn't he did. miss one did. from everywhere. I well, mean, he was just slotted better than some other teams that we know. Yeah, well, <laughs> South Africa need a need a one of him in the side. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know what will they do. Will they put him to center, bring back the, the fly half? 
Look, I think uh, I think Farrell's got too much to leave him out. Um, he just needs that discipline because you can't afford semi-final mm. finals to to mm. be playing with fourteen. What men. do you think, JJ? You think I, they'll become a centre? I think once they get out of pool stages, they'll probably move him back to twelve. Yeah, where mm. he normally yeah. plays twelve for Saracens. Yeah. And, so I thought they thought if he gets injured, George Ford did get injured. At least they practiced him at fly half, yeah. and they've yeah. got the yeah. synergies going. Uh, yeah, you're right. They do look dangerous. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah but that was a, a complete runaway from England over the weekend. They 71 0. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. the thing about England is that they've used experience and youth and they've put it together. The mistake that Australia made that we're going to get into in a little bit later. Their uh, wing, what is that's the fullback. It scored how many tries? Uh, Henry. He is electric. Henry Arundel. Yeah, yeah. 14. Yeah. Sheesh, man. 14. It's like he's in fast forward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Four tries in the last game. Yeah. I mean, and in that game, yeah. 71 0. No, he really playing his traps. Ah, yeah. now, we, now we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. South Africa versus Ireland. Um, my personal opinion, the, the loss was actually worthwhile because we're now potentially quarterfinals against France. Yeah. Um, South Africa versus Ireland, your opinions of the game? A very physical game from both sides. Uh, a good game, a good game of rugby. Not spoiled at all by refs and TMOs like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, look. No, that decision at the end, guys, was No, that decision ridiculous. at the end was ridiculous. I think what uh, Rassi did was he said, right, this is the people's team. Yeah. Right. If, if I was just to go to a World Cup final, if it was a final, yeah. I would pick these players on merit of what they've been doing at the moment yeah. and said to them, right, go and let's see if you guys can do it. Because yeah. this is the preliminary to the final. And let's see if you guys have what it takes with out to Pollard without a kicker because mm. you guys say you can kick. So go and prove that you can yeah. or go bog it. And guess what they did? Yeah. They proved well, that what, we need a real kicker. What concerns yeah. me is if when you watch the, the warm-ups of Faf kicking from the 60 meter, he's slotting them with ease. I think they're just putting too much pressure on themselves mm. on that kick. Yeah. Um, Mani Leboque is playing the time as well. He's kind of playing that time to kick just before uh, the 90 seconds or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. Um, you just need to calm down. I see Percy Montgomery came out and said, listen, just calm down and kick the ball like mm. you've always done it. Strike it nicely. Mm. They fall. I don't know if you guys noticed, they're both falling away from their kick. Yeah. And that's the concern is, is yeah. Faf and Moni mm. are falling away from yeah. that kick. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think so now he can make the changes without South Africa going, oh, but yeah. it's not fair. Yes. yes. Look, you've proved that you can't do it. Yeah. So we are going to make those changes and see how it goes because Dwayne's got to come in at eight, man. Yes, sir. He is a rock. Yes, sir. And then uh, Pollard has to come in at, at fly yeah. half. Yeah. And then they can work around that. I don't think there's too many other changes. Yeah. Everyone else played pretty well. Um, and um, how is about Itzabeth getting absolutely weaved? Wow. I mean, <laughs> by, uh, by a winger. By a wing. And he yeah. had by far the best game he's ever had uh, in his whole life. Brilliant. He was brilliant. on fire. Yeah, he was. He was everywhere. Every he time was. you saw the ball or anything, he was there. Yeah. Driving over the scrum, yeah. doing this, doing that. Kind of yeah. It was he was absolutely yeah, everywhere. He was all over. Is he yeah. South African, no? James Lowe? Yeah. Uh, New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Just didn't yeah. crack nod for All Blacks, eh? Yeah. Never got to look Yeah, and then I think when he went overseas to play a bit, he was on the fringes. And but it was like those Sapawanga days, you know? Yeah. So mm. I think it was, what are you going to do? Take him out yeah. with Sapawanga. Mm. Yeah. It was a bit hard, yeah. Okay, so look, South Africa will bounce back. They're in the quarterfinals. Well, they are. Oh, let's well, let's they don't see. lose to Tonga. Well, they have to get a bonus point. Yeah. And uh, Scotland have to lose to Ireland. Yeah. That's yeah. what has to happen. Scotland lose to Ireland. Scotland beat, uh, beat Ireland. South Africa Which still needs to not gonna happen. probably not going to happen, but they've left themselves, uh, they could get kicked out. Yeah, if they yeah. don't get the bonus point and Scotland win, yeah. they're out. Okay, so there's per permeables to this World Cup. Yeah. We were talking about it the other day. Mm. Uh, Scotland, Tonga, 45 11. Mm. I wouldn't judge Tonga from that. They have a lot of experience coming into now playing South Africa. It's, gonna, it's not going to be easy for South Africa, but I think we're too strong. We, we will be strong in the pack, but uh, remember the Tongan guys are quite physical as well. Hey? Yeah. The only thing they've got to work on is the discipline. If they can get that right, I think they'll give yeah. South lots Africa of international If South money, Africa yeah. put in five scrum halves this time, we'll run away with it. <laughs> well, you know, the four me, scrum halves works. My one question you. is how come South Africa do an inside ball on all the easy games and they are unbelievable. They have a guy coming in on the inside and they do that thing. When they're playing these stupid games, the tough games, yeah. they run around and throw the ball yeah. over the top and run into the corner. It makes no sense. No, it doesn't. Doesn't that you inside see, ball the, the, just changes the, everything? The good thing about having those four scrum offs is that your breakdown point you've got distribution straight away, it's quicker, and that's where the gaps well, are the coming. The one through. thing that you know with Pollard is sometimes he's going to attack, yeah. So now you're getting them the guessing because you've got a guy that yeah, can stop and line. actually attack the line and he's big. Yeah. So he can hit the line and then the next time you've got them standing off with Le Lebok, you don't even have to worry. He's never run in his no, life. No. So they all just run across and they know where to go. That's yeah. why Lowe had such a good game because all he was doing was reading true. where he's going to go. Very so, true. Very true. Well broken down there, my man and my boy. Yeah. Uh
Ron, Australia versus Wales. That was an absolute brilliant performance by Wales. Absolute disaster for the entire country of Australia. Um, where the hell are they going to go now? What's Did you happen? watch the rundown of the Jeepers. Australian ex-players? Wow. Yeah. Uh, having a crack. Mitchell. Yeah, Drew Mitchell yes. had some fine words to say. Yeah, hey, yeah, JJ. Yeah. yeah, some of the words that we can't say on this show. <laughs> that that show got it. You got all the Fs well, and all the... He actually did that for the game against Fiji not oh was it and then not, no, this one he had no voice when well, they were talking did you, to did me you see, <laughs> yeah, did you see when they got all in the neck <laughs> but, but um, yeah no, guys that's uh, my personal opinion the Australia Wales it was uh, just too much too little for Eddie Jones um I think he left all his quality players back at home mm. um I think Quade Cooper Michael Cooper a couple of other names I mean even even throwing that line to Israel Falau. Uh, Falau and bringing him back Would just it? having that caucus of uh of quality leadership and uh, experience so would have, most would have made games a wins man of the match yeah so why not bring him I'm back gonna... and get and get it into into those sort of you know lean back it's like bringing them back that's how that's how you win world cups i don't know why eddie was so maybe he was just cheesed off with australia and thought let me not pick anyone and let's go make a big loss here and say lacquer guys how did you enjoy that because yeah. <laughs> he put a whole lot of new faces in there he's at from the time you started there, was that four captains? Seven captains. Yeah, yeah. seven yeah. captains. Yeah. Well, uh, look, I mean, you don't do a trial before uh, the World Cup. He was at thrown the at the World Cup. I mean, he, he left uh, England, went to uh, Australia. He said he's he is stuck in there till 2027. The big elephant in the room is, did he have that Skype call with Japan about a, a job interview the week before he was going to go? Will the Australians to... let him stay? I, I don't I think so. It. I doubt it. I doubt it. I think uh, his head's going to go. I think the chairman of, uh, as they were saying, that the rot starts from the head. Mm. Um, and uh, they're saying that this is all old school. Mm. They need to get rid of all the top management up there. I see Steve War, uh, not Steve War, Phil War, mm. um, is now the CEO. That I think he will keep his position. Mm. I think uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, disbursement of that uh, top management at Australia. Yeah, and it's a pity those guys missed out on their final World Cup because of politics. Yeah. So it is what it is. We're used to that in Zimbabwe. Well, so. if you're watching this and you want to comment below, let us know if you think that uh, Eddie Jones is going to keep his job. Yes or no and why. And, uh, and, and let us break. know on Bubwe Banter and come back to us after the break. Bubwe, Bubwe Banter. Eddie Jones had promised a smash and grab mission to take home the Rugby World Cup trophy. Instead, the Wallabies campaign in France is in tatters. The Australians totally outclassed by Wales and now looking set for a third place finish in their group and an early trip home. Humiliation on the world stage. Aussie rugby hits rock bottom. The Wallabies' biggest loss in World Cup history belted 40 points to six by Wales. Embarrassed for the Aussie people for us and the performance we put on. One that had Wallabies fans departing the stadium early. 60 minutes on the clocks, 20 minutes of play still. That'll do me boys, I'm out. After conceding a try in the opening three minutes, Eddie Jones's reaction throughout the match said it all. And yet he's still defending his decision to leave experienced players at home and pick a squad with 25 players featuring at their first World Cup. I was put in this job to, to turn Australia around and I don't think I could have done it with the players that had been playing. I think we needed a fresh change. With defeat to Wales here in Lyon, that is Australia's biggest loss in World Cup history and their tournament nightmare is now a reality. For the first time ever, Australia will fail to progress beyond the group stage. I really take umbrage at the questioning that people are questioning my commitment to coaching Australia. I've been working non-stop since I've come here and I apologise for the results, but to doubt my commitment to the job I think is a bit red hot. But the veteran coach refused to deny reports linking him with a return to Japan. Can you give all of his fans your absolute 100% commitment that you will not be coach of Japan next year? I'm committed to coach Australia. Hey guys, welcome back to the World Cup edition of Rugby with Babwe Banta with my China. Yes! Brothers from other mothers. So, guys, games coming up this week. Uruguay, Namibia. Who's your money on, Rob? Uruguay. <laughs> Who's your money on, JJ? I think Namibia will take this one, eh? Really? Yes. 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 Uh, those Uruguayans are tough. Uh, no, I'm going with Uruguay. Okay. While, we, while we're on that, can we just say, who can we speak to at World Rugby about well, not the rest. yellow cards and stuff? Because the... Some guys are getting like two-week bans, four-week bans. The Namibian will uh, tackle on 
the French captain has gotten a 12 week ban. No way. Yes. That's because it's, it's called the French captain and the French run world rugby. Yeah, so that's true. Unfortunately, true. that's how the cookie crumbles when it comes to world rugby. That's why France have had two World Cups faster than they've had it in the space. South Africa still hasn't even got a crack at it. Yeah. I mean, it's madness. They just decide what they want to do. So it is what it is. Uh, let's get let's get someone else in there. Should we get you, the USA to run world rugby? That would be that yeah. would be the best thing. That would be nice. Let's, yeah. let's make world rugby great again. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> it. that game's coming up at five thirty this evening, Wednesday. Uh, Japan versus Samoa. Uh, yeah. That's coming up tomorrow at 8 p.m. That is going to be close. That's than going to be good. Say. That yeah. is going to be. Good. That's going to be maybe one of the games of the tournament for sure. I reckon. Yeah. So far, because the Jap Japanese forwards are massive, yeah. and their backs are really quick. So I mean, yeah. Simone, same thing, except they've got bigger backs. And lines, Eddie so. Jones is going there as well. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so who's your money on, Rob? Ish. I think Japan might pull it off. I'm going Samoa. You're going Samoa? I think Japan. Japan's going to probably play a more tactical game. Samoa is just going to go in there. With physicality yeah. and by 60th minute they'll be done eh? yeah okay, let's tired. See. the japanese have pulled off uh, some big things i like at World the, Cup. i like the simone scrum off and i like the fly off i think they're they're a bit cleverer than that so I, that's yeah. why i'm sticking with it then new zealand's going to be uh, coming out of the woodworks against italy to lose to italy so they get kicked out of the group stage well let me tell you <laughs> can italy pull off something fantastic coming up at eight o'clock that's friday you put um, your money on, on, hey, on italy. who's your money on <laughs> New, New Zealand will probably win it, but I hope Italy can cause an upset there. Eh? Look, looking at the New Zealand team on paper, they always look so good. Eh? Yeah. And that same team is the same team that played against South Africa in New Zealand for the first game of the of the year. And we, they were so fast, they could have won the World Cup if they, they kept up that sort of speed. Yeah. It's just, I don't know what happens to them when they're not at home, but if they can pull it together and they can start playing like they yeah. did, um, they can do something amazing, but they just seem to have something. I don't know what it is, why they can't. Yeah. It's is, is it World Cup? They just seem to, that World Cup just seems to give them, that they just don't fire out of all But yeah, even the, all of these, this team, out of all of the teams of the history, have made the most defeats. They've like broken yeah. all the bad records for New Zealand. Yeah. And you just wonder why. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. So, well, let me tell you, that's going to be, oh, I mean, whoever knows at the World Cup, could Italy topple over New Zealand? That's Friday on, at 8 p.m. Um, then Saturday, three games in a row. Argentina, Chile, they're playing at 2 p.m. Um, that's pretty straightforward, guys. No, Argentina. Argentina. Uh, Fiji versus Georgia. Uh, I think our blood's Fiji, eh? 5 p.m. Yeah, but I think it'll still be a good game. Yeah. Georgia do have the size, and if they click, they've got a, a very good fullback. Um, we know what they can do. Mm. They must just not fall asleep at half time, yeah. and they must keep it going. So, yeah, I think at least it won't be a walkover. It'll be a very good game to watch. Absolutely. And then uh, the last game on Saturday is Scotland versus Romania. So, look, I think the Scottish are too strong. Yeah. I think they've... Uh, Gregory Townsend is that uh, quiet coach who I think is building a lot of confidence. Yeah. Watch out for the Scottish. Watch out. Yeah. Sheesh, yeah. did you see the Scottish wing get smoked by the Simone? Like, absolutely. Yes, and he's massive. I did. <laughs> the South African I did. I did. Uh, any Polynesian that's running towards you, you just got to run. You took the brunt of it. You took the brunt of it. Those, yeah, I don't know what time. they feed those oaks. Yeah. It's like the oaks in South Africa and the Burvos and stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, right, guys. Then it starts uh, heating up on Sunday. Australia versus Portugal. Come on, Portugal. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, let me tell you, Australia, they're either going to bounce back massively. Um, I think they're going to. And it doesn't matter. Have, it doesn't really matter, does it? Does it? Or can, is it, there a it does, because if Australia get a bonus point against Portugal and Fiji lose to Georgia, then Fiji's out, Australia's in there. Ooh. But, is it, and if they do that, they'll probably win the World Cup. <laughs> yeah, they probably would. Yeah. Yeah. That, I don't, but, guys, uh, did you see the hurt when those guys came off the field? Yeah. It, it was a different... I mean, I actually felt for the Australians, just uh, going still, back to the Australians look, again. winning under 19 World Cups and winning World Cups is different things. Eh? Yeah. I mean, all of those lighties are good, but it's a different, ke it's a different oh, kettle it's of different. fish coming into there. Eh? It's massive. But, Matty, if you, if you look at the hurt that they went through, that, that will be remembered in four years' time. I had this epiphany that that team will be in the final in, in uh, well, 2027. You, you say that, Rob. This is exactly what happened to Australia in 2015. Yeah. When they got rid of... Or the, or the big boys. coach and got in Michael Chica. Yeah. Yes. He was supposed to be the coach for 2016. Yeah. While they looked for a head coach and then they just told him to stay on. Yeah. yeah. He won with the Warriors. And he got to the Super final. Quick, quick question. All the way to the quick final. question. Yeah. Should they have kept Dave Rennie for the World Cup? They should have. Keep that continuity because you've got a team that's been gelling together for the last two, yeah. three years. 
I think they were so worried Eddie was going to go somewhere and they really wanted Eddie. And yeah. they thought, well, that's the man. So even if they've picked him and it's a, it is an eight-year plan or yeah. whatever, a five-year plan, okay, oh, let, no. let Eddie do what he does. Well, but apparently whatever came out of that press conference after the loss uh, of him having a chat with uh, Japan, is apparently 100 percent true yeah well I'm and sure. he categorically denied it uh so has he lied to the world we don't know we're gonna see is he not allowed to talk to them he's allowed to talk to them well well these are the things I mean, what you're talking about eh? yeah no i'm just saying he's allowed to talk but he, he's, if he's obviously not breaking any contracts by saying i'm, I'm just talking but yeah uh, yeah but uh it could have been a job interview but we don't know um guys and then obviously then to top off this weekend it's the boca we are going to bounce back. Uh, we want to obviously see that fast back line. Uh, we know Pollard's back. We want to see that fa that fast back line. Five uh, scrum offs and two Moody's fouls. and oh. <laughs> I mean, has that team been announced? <laughs> Not yet. Not was yet. Rassi holding his cards tightly to his chest? Yeah, yeah, for now, yeah. Okay, and that, guys, money on? Boca. 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 South Africa, and they've got to win with a bonus point. Eh? They've got to win with a bonus, bonus point. Yeah, okay. and I think they will. Because if they start doing the game, inside ball and stuff, Scotland, they maybe they have to go. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Well, that's it, guys. That's uh, another edition of our Rugby Wrap here, which is the World Cup Rugby Wrap on uh, Bubway Banter. Make sure that you follow us on all our social media platforms. Follow us on YouTube and uh, all the platforms, especially Instagram as well. From us next week, it's going to start heating up and we start seeing who gets to the quarterfinals. And that is what we're going to be looking at. Coming up next week. Cheerio. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.